Greetings friends and welcome to my YouTube page and in this video I'm going to run through all the basics of levitation because it's one of those higher abilities that often entices people to get into Barden work in working through initiation into hermetics in the first place. But before I do that, I would like to uh, tell you a little bit about what I offer. I offer individual coaching where I coach you through the steps, answer all your questions, and provide a safe space to process everything. And a component of that, only if you want, can be a form of mental health coaching that's more like psychotherapy. So I also see clients for that, if that interests you. I also do group sessions where there's a transmission of Akashic light, and those are very cheap per person. And if you're interested in these, please email me at thegraveyardcowboy at gmail.com, thegraveyardcowboy at gmail.com, or you can go to my website at clintsabom.com. I also have online classes at Perseus Arcane Academy. I have a class on emotional release. I have a class on steps four, five, and six. And I think those are also great things that you might want to get. And those are very cheap as well. So I have a lot of stuff to offer and feel free to contact me anytime. So let's get to levitation. How do you levitate? What are the components about it? Yes, it gets people into Barden work in the first place. And I will be honest, I have not heard a whole lot of talk about levitation on YouTube from anyone. I haven't seen a demonstration of levitation. Of course, maybe, it, well, at least not from Barden teachers. I've seen demonstrations from uh, Buddhist monks that are on YouTube, if you ever check that out. However, so it is possible. It's certainly possible. And it's certainly possible working through Barden's system as well. So uh, what do you need? You need the Akasha first. If you're not at a point in your journey where you cannot feel your spirit aspect, have a lot of Akasha charge and burn bright and shine light all the time. And when I do my transmissions, I basically get feedback that there was a force of light and emptiness that comes from my transmissions of Akasha. I also did a recent interview, interestingly enough, with this guy on my other brand, Contemplative Light, where he just kept saying I shined so bright. So it's good to know that others can witness my Akasha too. So how do you get the Akasha? What are some ways? Well, one way obviously is to work through the steps, step by step, but what you can also do in the meantime, even if you're early in the steps, is pray a lot. Pray a lot to divine providence or whatever you want to use, whatever word you want to use. And the vacancy of mind really helps. The more you are in the great here now, as I've talked about the great here now being the single moment we are always living in, no past, no future, it all happens in the great here now, where you are right now, one moment, the entire universe. Rest in that, open to that, that will open up your spirit, which some people call mental training, but Barton calls it spirit training, and I prefer the term spirit too, because that more ac accurately describes it. So you need the Akasha, and remember, the electromagnetic force comes from the Akasha. The elements come from the Akasha. So once you have the Akasha, you have the access point. And there are stories and accounts of people who have been able to levitate with just Akasha. For example, St. Teresa of Avila, the Christian mystic, levitated in chapel when she was doing Gregorian chants and prayers. 
And by all means, she didn't work through Barden's steps. Barden wasn't even alive yet. And she was not working with the elements, according to all the research we have on her. It was all Akasha causing her to levitate. So Barton does give two ways to levitate. I prefer the second one I'm going to mention. <clears throat> the first one is simply with the air element, feeling yourself white as a balloon, charging with a lot of air. Now, I have done this, and I have never levitated or felt like I could levitate with just the air element. I get deep into emptiness of mind. I have a focus. And then I have kind of spins around me at the same time with all that air. And it's deeply relaxing, and it can take me into a deep state. But it has never gotten me feeling light as a balloon where I felt like it was a good path to meditate. And the other method Barton gives is getting so filled up with the magnetic force that your body gets so heavy that it offsets your natural body mass and repels against the earth because the earth pulling you down, gravity pulling you down is a negative force and your weight offsetting your own weight with the negatively charged magnetic fluid is also a negative charge. So two negative charges repair each other. So what do you need to get to the point where you're able to fill your body mass with that much magnetic fluid? Well, you need the Akasha because that's where the electrical fluid comes from. The electrical fluid moves from the top bottom up, from the feet up to the head, while the magnetic fluid runs down from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet. So you need a lot of Akasha, and you're basically going to kind of download the magnetic fluid. The Akasha opens you up to the heavens, to the heights, to the celestial realm, and from there, you take in and draw in the magnetic fluid from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, standing up in your place where you do your magical practice. You might even want to light some candles and say some prayers beforehand. And you pull all that magnetic force down and you get heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier till you rappel off the ground. And that's what basically happens. And this is what I'm working on now. And a couple of years ago, I was able to do it once, and it scared me. And I want to say a little bit about that. You're not going to be able to hide, uh, achieve any higher abilities if you're actually scared of having them. And sometimes fear is the other side of grandiosity. So if you're grandiose about it, like, wow. I'm on a path where I can levitate. Then the flip side of that is often a fear, a fear of actually doing it and being too wowed, being so wowed that you're overwhelmed by like the wow factor of it. So you've got to go into it just thinking like it's a normal exercise. And of course, you probably aren't at the point in the steps to do this, but I like being open about the higher abilities up front anyways, because that's what gets a lot of people motivated to do initiation into hermetics. So you fill yourself with that body mass and you repel yourself off of gravity and being scared of it. I'll tell you what I was scared of, and it sounds absolutely ridiculous kind of, I was scared of coming off the ground so much and then losing that body mass and kind of falling back down onto the ground and breaking an ankle. But if you can practice levitation and get there and you break an ankle in the process of it, well, <laughs> oh well, you've made a lot of success. 
go to the orthopedist and get your ankle taken care of and then get right back to it. <clears throat> or you could also, well, you know, I don't know, but there's a risk factor in all of this. And there's a risk factor in all of Barton. You need courage, but you also need level-headedness. And so it's really a matter of having the Akasha, downloading the magnetic fluid, offsetting your own weight, getting heavier and heavier. And let me say this, working on this exercise, even if you don't levitate, brings you a tremendous sense of grounding and flow throughout your system. And, <coughs> excuse me, in order to be, do this though, there's one thing that comes to mind that I read in a Taoist text on practical alchemy years ago. And the first line of that Taoist text was, repair the alchemical workshop, strengthen the physical body. And I'm going to say people that go to the gym every day, that have an exercise routine, that keep their body strong, are going to find this exercise a whole lot easier. You need your body strong to do this exercise because it does take some physical force. Even if it starts out in the Akasha and the magnetic fluid, you're going to experience it also in your body. So it's going to need, your body's going to be in, need to be in good shape. So I would say that's the first thing. Make sure you're exercising or, and or your physical body is strong to do this. So I hope some of this helped and I'll be transparent. That's what I'm working on now. That's where I'm at in my journey. I've certainly done some of the higher abilities mentioned in step 10 and the previous ones, but I am still definitely working on this levitation thing. So with that said, contact me. Let's do some coaching. Let's do some work together. I'll help you through it. The Graveyard Cowboy at gmail.com and clintsabom.com. All right, that's it. Many blessings.